Scott Kineski and this is David Ramsey and we're coming to you from Gazette.com to talk to you today about uh, the U.S.'s chances uh, in the knockout stages against Belgium. Uh, David, do you, what do you think about this talent level of the U.S.? Well, and Scott, we talked about this some, um, but we're going to disagree a little bit. And one thing I want to say is that I defer to Scott in, uh, as, our, as the Gazette soccer expert. Um, but my take on this team is I love the fight. I love the want to. I love the never give up attitude. You know, they almost scored in the last minute against Germany. Um, still fighting for a tie. And I, probably a lot of players even knew at that point they didn't need a tie. They, that's just the kind of attitude this team has. It's an easy team for all of us as Americans to get behind. And, you know, all of us are Americans rooting for the team, except, of course, Jurgen Klinsmann, a German. But, uh, you know, I, I have my, I've had my problems with Jurgen, but, you know, you've got to like the way he's the way he's pushing this team to play hard. But on the talent, I'm not a big fan of the talent. I, you know, I, I haven't seen a dazzling goal except for, um, you know, except for Dempsey's, you know, great goal to start off the, to start off the um, World Cup effort against Ghana. So, but I, I know we don't agree on this. What, what, what do you think about the talent? Yeah, and, and like David said, I, I really agree with the, uh, the can-do effort from the U.S. You know, it, it's a great team to get behind. They, they, they don't stop, uh, you know, uh, Brooks's goal in the against in the 86th minute against Ghana is a perfect example of that. But I have to disagree with David uh, regarding the talent. Their, their talent levels, I believe, the best uh, U.S. soccer has ever put on the field. Uh, they can attack from all different facets. Uh, their wings are outstanding. I think we're going to see that later on. Uh, I think they're going to get better, uh, hopefully, against Belgium. And as talented a team as Belgium is, I think the U.S. has enough to, to hang with them perfectly and maybe get to that next round. Well, another thing we, we, we've been talking about uh, uh, quite a bit is the, the Landon Donovan decision. Landon Donovan was sent, sent away from the team by Klinsman. And one thing I've found is when I've been out watching the games, I've watched, I've watched um, two of the three games with big, big crowds. And Donovan's always, Donovan's always on people's mind. Now, wh what do you think about Donovan, not as a starter, we, I know we agree on this, but as a sub? Wh what do you think about Klinsman's decision about sending him away you know, what, what could he have brought to the team as a sub? You know, uh, I really think he would be similar to maybe Mexico's Chicharito Her mm. Hernandez, where, you know, Donovan's not going to start, but he can come on in the 65th, 70th minute if you need a goal. Or maybe against Germany, he could have come on late and, and pre presented a, a speed factor that the Germans would have immediately backed off on. Uh, I know Yedlin kind of uh, presented that, but at the same time, you know, the Germans aren't going to worry about Yedlin like they are Landon Donovan. And I think... You know, I would also think that the team likes Donovan, a former captain, and you would kind of think that's the guy that you would wonder if they would want around. I would, I would think they would, but maybe Jurgen knows different. Well, and my take on it is that you can, and, and I, I've had a lot of discussion about this on Twitter with uh, people who disagree with me, but you can, you can applaud Clint, Klinsman and this team and still say the Klinsman should have kept Donovan. That's my take. Um, and we'll never know what the team would have been like with Donovan. But I think he would have helped against Germany, and I think he very well could come in and help against against Belgium. Now it's prediction time. Um, I want to ask you first, as our as our Gazette expert, who who do you see as uh, winning the game? You, you know, I like I like the U.S. to win this game. Uh, I don't want to sound just like some patriotic fan, but I really like their chances. Uh, looking at uh, any other possibilities, I think this is the best matchup for them in the knockout stages. So uh, I like the U.S. I like them winning two one. Okay, and uh, and not to be contrary. But I, I don't like their chances, and I think that the, what we've been talking about, I think the talent's going to catch up with them. And the, they're going to fight hard, they're going to they're gonna, you know, deliver a, a, a tough effort, but they're going to lose 2-1. to one. So we, we disagree on that. So I'm David Ramsey, and this is Scott, and we're, we're from Gazette.com. We appreciate you joining us. Look for coverage on Gazette.com and uh, in the print edition of the Gazette. Thanks a lot.